our students. The art teacher is back. Time to draw. Okay, so for a while now, I have been telling people to use the cylinders, I'm trying to teach you guys how to use the cylinders and how much they work and how much easier it makes your drawings come out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a drawing. Uh, I was gonna call it one for all, but yeah, we'll see. So this is gonna be a simple drawing and I'm gonna show you about the cylinders and as I say, how easy it makes you, makes it. So right now I'm gonna do the torso. Hopefully I won't do it too big and it'll, it'll still fit on the page. Just gonna do the torso in a simple way, like this. That's it, just this shape right here. And then I'm going to have a center line which your center line is always going to hit that point of that upside down roof of that house. So if you did a house, let's just say we did a long house that was curved up, this would be like it'd be like that. So this is without doing the beetle. This is we're not going to be concerned about the the torso. We are going to concern ourselves with these cylinders. So what else? What what I am also going to do is just put a head on there and put this neck, and I'm going to lean that head just like you know cock it to the side because he's just cool like that. So this is what we're going to do. This is all we're going to do with this. This is basically the body and the head. And if my camera wants to focus, it would be nice. So from here, what we're going to do is the delts. Two circles, simple, simple shapes, simple shapes, delts. Now the rest I want to do in color so that you can keep up with it. Now what I'm going to do is put arms and legs on these guys using the cylinders these guys, this guy using the cylinder and show you the difference that you can do by just learning the cylinder. So let's start out with something light, go light and then cover it up. So this is yellow. So hopefully you guys can see that. I'll, I'll do it kind of dark so you can see it. Cylinder, back circle, front circle, back circle, front circle. And then I'll just put a little hand there. All right, same thing here. So this is going to be, since this is twisted, that is going to be, do I have an eraser on here? One of these things that don't have an eraser on. That's going to be actually behind that because it is angled to the side. Camera is not happy today. I haven't used it in about, what, a week now? So maybe it's just not happy. So if you back circle, front circle, back circle and your front circle and what I'm doing here is just curving curving the um, cylinders a little bit because your arms do have a little curve to it and that just makes it a little better when you draw so that's a set of arms using cylinders so let's take another set another color and let's just do this that's a little low for me let's bring it up a little bit more doesn't have to be perfect Brian just Remember that. So we're gonna do this and this like that. So we're gonna go up front circle, back circle. So you see here what I'm doing? If my camera would want to be nice, let's put this here. Someone said if I put something dark, it would focus on the dark. So I kind of proved that theory wrong in a couple of videos, but it does have some merit to it. So, back front circle, back circle. So, just by being able to use your cylinders, there's a lot you can do with um, your characters. And we haven't moved the body. The body has not moved. It has not changed one bit. So, let's go uh, green and... Let's do this, let's do this. Back circle, front circle. Maybe not so much open because it's not gonna be coming at you that much. Back circle, front circle, and just a little curve to it. So we have the back circle, front circle. Back circle, front circle. Front, so back circle and front circle. And the reason I'm saying that is because the front circle, you will see the opening inside of it. The back circle, you will not see the opening inside of it. 
And then let's do just another one just because. Let's just do, we got blue here. So we're gonna go here. This is gonna be my back circle and let's just do more of a, do you wanna write on me? Is this color tech? This is very light. So let's do a black. Let's just do a black. Make it better. All right, no, we got, I got a dark blue. We got a dark blue here. <sighs> That's not gonna work because it's still not dark enough. Even if I dark one, because I'm I'm coloring over top of the other ones. Let's let's go for it anyway. Let's just say here's my back circle, here's my front circle, here's my back circle, and here is my front circle. And then let's put a hand on them. This needs to be sharpened really bad. Like that. So if I put another one here, let me sharpen this real quick. I can put another one here going back. Like, like it's going back behind the body. And then coming out down here. So you wouldn't see the circles itself because it, it would be behind the body. You would see this front circle here and then a fist. Now we have five different hand presses. One, two, three, four, four, four. Darken this green up a little bit more so we can do that. So let's do some legs, starting out with the yellow because it's lightest. Let's do circle. And that's the back circle, this is the front circle back and then front. I'm not gonna worry about putting feet on it. So this is the same thing, back circle, front circle. Front, let's switch over to green. Green and blue just didn't really wanna work. So let's do this, let's go out. Back circle and front circle. Again, back circle. And front circle, good, you're not unfocusing, that's really good. So let's do red, let's just say, the, let's just do this. Back circle, front circle. Is it the back circle or is it the front circle? It's the front circle. And it's the back circle. So if I did another red, it would be more neutral. So but just because I did the red, let's just do that. Back circle, front circle, back circle, front circle. Now, what we have here is a ton of different positions you could use for your character. That blue, that blue, let me, let me do that blue in a black. I should have done it in a black because it's, it's, let's just do this in pen. This pen is not really wanting to write over top of that blue. And this is more in your foreshortening. Well, my hand is fine. It's just the armor that I wanted to see. So now you have all of those positions just by using, yeah, bring that back, just by using your cylinders. You took one body pose and you turned it into a number, a number of positions. So let's continue and I'll show you what I'm saying. So you have this idea and I'm looking for my red pencil. That's somehow ran away from me and use this one and I'll say okay now I want to say like I say oh, okay I want to use this green and this red and maybe this red and that yellow you can choose from doing a number of positions just by knowing how to use your cylinders properly or correctly or just by practicing your cylinders I mean you can do this all day I mean I could have 
I could have had a hand, you know, reaching up, one reaching up, or maybe behind his head to get a sword or something from behind him. I mean, I could have just, arms could have just flailed all over the place. But by doing, just doing a little simple uh, exercises like that, you can come up with a number of poses. So let's do this again. But this, step, this time I will detail it. So we have this and this simple body. You know, if your heart, if you, if you have trouble doing the body, where did this go? Let's put this back. If you're having trouble doing the body, then you use just simple shapes, just really simple shapes. This is why I came up with the beetle and the house because people are not afraid to do certain shapes, do certain things that you've done since you were young. But this one, it's about as easy as you can get. And if you're going to dress the character, then, you know, even more better. So then I'll do the neck like that, tilt the head like that. Now I'll do the beetle. Oval. Center line. And I didn't do that center line, so there's just my center line. My mountain. My, this is my, my um, shoulder's going to be right there. Oh, the collarbone's going to be right there. So we already got that. So we're going to do this up and this one's already there and we're going to do the chest we'll curve the chest and up and then we had these already so we're going to come down a little bit it's not going to be this wide that's why i say if i wanted to keep that body i would slim it in like this maybe go like that and then out like that kind of like doing an hourglass and that would be um all the body that i need if i'm dressing it so but using the beetle technique the tuna can we're going to come down and then there is my upside down house so that's what we have here minus the um shapes and then my abs so i said okay i have this now which one am i going to choose out of all of these um hands which one i'm going to choose to pose my character now let me get my neck let me get my neck Good, and give them a little bit of shoulders. Make that collarbone a little better and bring their chest up a little more. So this is actually the hard part. If you get in the torso, that's actually the hard part right there. Once you get that down and then you're doing those um, arms and legs that's the easy part the only hard part about doing the arms and legs is how you want to position them so let's just say I want to do this yellow leg let's just say this yellow leg right here so I'm gonna bring this yellow leg down and I'm gonna detail it and add a foot to it and then I'm gonna use the green leg so I'm gonna put that leg out the foot Brian and this is basically just to get your position this is not you detail this is the detail part right here once I get my position so then I say I want to use Let's just say the yellow, the, I'm going to use this yellow arm, the one that's straight down. I'm going to curve it a little bit, and then I'm going to use the, I could use the blue arm or the green arm. No, let's use the red arm. I said the yellow, and then we're going to do the red. So he's just chilling. like that so by doing this you have multiple poses that you can do for your characters and once you learn how to flip that by having him go the opposite way you can do it all over again so if you have a character or a group or a team of two or three people easily easily 
quickly, you can do it because you already got your legs and your arms straight. You can say, I want this guy's legs to be, oh, both of this guy's legs to be open like that. And then I want to have him with his arms up like this because he's the powerhouse. He's got the power coming from him like that. So just by knowing how to do these arms and legs, you have plenty of drawings you could be doing, plenty of stuff that you can be putting up online you're just kicking it out because it's simple. Once you get the knowledge of knowing how to do this, how to turn this, it's very simple. And all you do is just curve it. If you have this right here for the arm, straight and straight, just start, start curving it just a little bit. Curve it just a little bit. That can stay straight or you can put a little bit of curve to it if you want to. But this part, the forearm, you always want to put that little curve to it. Same thing with the legs. And this is the same shape as this leg. It's basically the same thing, except a little, maybe a little longer and a little thicker. And this is the same thing, except way thicker. Because if I did this, okay, so this is my arm. This is my delt right here. But if I just make this a little thicker and I put this line here that comes right here, then I have a leg. That's my leg like that. And then put my house there and bring that up. Same thing here. If I have this, I put my calf here like that. Then I have a foot. So once you learn to do the cylinders, drawing is so, so, so simple. Anatomy drawing now, when you get the foreshortening and perspective and so forth like that, it's a little bit, little bit harder. But drawing the anatomy is so simple. It's just, it's just simple. So that's going to be it for this little short video. Um... Give me a thumbs up if you like that. I keep I keep forgetting to say that. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and then tell a friend. I know if you're an artist, you got artist friends, tell them about me, help my channel grow. So what I say, thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment if you got the time. So that's gonna be it for this little short video. And I had to put a little ab on them right here. Extra ab. That's gonna be it for this video. And um yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it should be coming out in a couple of days. And I want to thank you to all those people who have been writing and leaving great comments and just saying, and it's just, it's a, it's a pleasure to see or to hear that this, my work is actually helping people to reach their dream. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to ramble. I will see you guys in the next video. Throw my pencils down. I'm out. Class is dismissed. Keep drawing.